Okay, here we are standing with the two engines, the 4.2 and the 4.3, covers off. Externally, the two engines are almost identical. The engine cowls are different, but you'd have to have both of them off and looking at them together to notice the real changes. Internally, the story starts getting a bit different. To have a look at the 4.2 litre engine here, the intake runner finishes here, just past the fuse wiring box. On the 4.3 engine, you'll notice the runner length now stops here before the fuse box, which is about two and a half inches. Yamaha will have done that to increase the RPM speed of where the engine makes the best torque. The shorter the runner, the higher the RPM torque will be. That will be one of the ways they're trying to achieve higher power out of the 4.3. You'll also notice the plenum volume is a lot bigger on the 4.3 than it is on the 4.2. They also run a larger throttle body and a different air intake compared to the 4.2. But that's just the changes that we immediately see on the outside. How are we going to tell what goes on on the inside? I'll tell you how. We're going to take this up to the engine room and we're going to do what no one else has ever done. We're going to pull the heads off this thing, measure the camshaft profiles, measure the valve size, measure the port, CC size, look at the compression ratio and actually get to the ducks guts of how Yamaha have extracted another 50 horsepower out of this engine.